Summer is right around the corner, which means cookouts, hikes, and get-togethers with your friends. And having a portable speaker with you can really come in handy. So today we're going to compare some of the best and most rugged $100 speakers for summer 2018. Specifically, the JBL Flip 4, XB21, Bose SoundLink Micro, and the UE Wonderboom. Just so we're clear. This isn't a full review on either of these speakers. I'm just trying to point out the most important differences between them so I can help you with your purchase decision. If you want to learn more about either of these speakers, then watch their full reviews. All of these Bluetooth speakers retail for $99.99, but the newest speaker here is the Sony XB21, which was released a few weeks ago, followed by the Bose SoundLink Micro, and both the JBL Flip 4 and UE Wonderboom are now both a little over a year old now. If you want to pick either of these speakers up, I'll have links in the description below, and if you use the links, it really helps out the channel. I suggest you check them out because these speakers routinely go on sale, so you might get lucky. First, let's get the simple stuff out of the way first. All four of these speakers charge via a micro USB port. I know it sucks, but only the XB21 and JBL Flip 4 have an aux jack for wired listening, while both the Wonderboom and SoundLink Micro can only play music wirelessly. But since having an audio jack on a phone these days is considered a feature now, I don't think it's a big deal for smaller speakers like these. All four of these speakers are also super rugged, so they'll be able to keep up with you no matter where you take them. The Bose SoundLink Micro, UE Wonderboom, and JBL Flip 4 are all IPX7 rated, while the Sony XB21 is IP67 rated, which means it's technically dustproof as well. But you should have no problem with either of these speakers if you get them a little wet or if you take them to the beach. Just be mindful of the Flip 4's exposed radiators and you'll be fine. Now let's talk about battery life. If you're out with your friends, you're probably going to want to listen to your music a little louder than you normally would by yourself. So with the volume set at 80%, the Bose SoundLink Micro has the shortest battery life here, averaging just 3 hours of playback time. The UE Wonderboom averages 4.5 hours of playback time, and the Sony XB21 averages 6 hours of playback time with the light feature turned on. But the JBL Flip 4 has the longest battery life here, averaging 7 hours of playback time. When it comes to speaker setup, things start to get very interesting. First, let's start off with the smallest speaker here, which is the Bose SoundLink Micro. There's a single upwards firing transducer and dual passive radiators, all housed beneath the perforated portion of the Microsoft Touch rubber skin. The JBL Flip 4 has dual 40mm transducers that shoot out the front and dual passive radiators that shoot out the sides. The Sony XB21 has slightly larger 41mm transducers that also shoot out the front and dual passive radiators that shoot out the front and back. And then there's the UE Wonderboom, which also has 40mm transducers and dual passive radiators, but they're set up in a way which makes the Wonderboom the only 360 degree speaker here. The seasons turn and change just like your mind. Like the sun gives into the moon into the night. Time continues marching, it slowly crawls. When it comes to sound quality, since these speakers have very similar transducer sizes, they sound very similar for the most part. So the main things we're going to focus on here is punch in their bass, distortion, and loudness. Unfortunately, I found out the Wonderboom has the least punch in its bass compared to these other speakers, and it does suffer from a considerable amount of distortion and max volume. Despite its size, the Micro actually has a little more bass than the Wonderboom and suffers from a little less distortion and max volume. 
The Flip 4 has the same amount of bass as the Micro and manages to keep sound distortion and max volume to a minimum. The Sony XB21 suffers from the same amount of distortion and max volume as the Flip 4, but has the most punch in his bass here. And it's not surprising because that's what the XB stands for, extra bass. But the mids don't sound as clear as the mids on the Flip 4. But when it comes to loudness, the Soundlink Micro is the quietest speaker here at max volume. The Wonder Boom is the loudest speaker here at max volume, followed closely by the Flip 4 and XB21. But since the Wonder Boom suffers from a considerable amount of distortion at max volume, I actually feel the Flip 4 sounds the best here at max volume. But now let's talk about pairing these speakers up with other speakers. The Wonder Boom can only be paired up to one other Wonder Boom. Whereas with the Bose or Sony, you can pair them up to a few other speakers of the same make. And you can also mix and match different size speakers as well. Now this also works with the JBL Flip 4, but JBL's Connect Plus is the easiest to get set up here. You literally press one button on each speaker and the speakers will figure out the rest by themselves. Whereas with the Bose or Sony, you have to open up an app and follow a few more steps. If you plan on regularly pairing multiple speakers together, then JBL is the way to go. But each of these speakers also have their own special features to take into consideration. Like I just mentioned, the Flip 4 has the easiest and best method for pairing other JBL Connect Plus enabled speakers, whereas pairing multiple Sony speakers together is a lot harder and the connection isn't as stable. But the Sony also has a pretty useful app where you can easily adjust these EQ, and not to mention, there's a light feature on the front. It's not the best light feature, but it's something. Since the Wonder Boom is a 360 degree speaker, it does a better job of evenly dispersing music. And the Bose Soundlink Micro has this little strap on the back so you can easily attach it to your backpack, a chair leg, an umbrella, or whatever. But if we take everything into consideration, I feel the best $100 speaker here is still the JBL Flip 4 because it has the best battery life and overall sound quality. The XP21 is a close second because it also has a really good real world battery life and you can also very easily adjust its EQ, but its lack of clarity does take a few points off. The Wonder Boom for the most part is pretty good, but its shorter real world battery life doesn't really make it the best if you plan on taking it out a lot because I highly doubt you're going to want to have to charge it back up if you're at the beach or if you're out with your friends. Even though I really like the Bose Soundlink Micro, it's really only worth getting for personal listening because it doesn't get super loud compared to these other speakers. And since it has the shortest battery life here, it's not really the best to take on longer outings. If you made it this far, I guess you enjoyed the video, so hit that like button and get subscribed. It helps out more than you realize. Support the channel by clicking on the links down below, and I'll catch you next time.